Welcome to Next Tutorial. This is a tutorial on Windows 10 over HTML and PC brought to you by Next Tutorials. I hope that this video will surely help you to decide whether you should install Windows 10 over your PC or not. So first, we're gonna have a look on the properties of this PC for your consultants. So as you can see here, Intel Pentium Dual Core Processor of 2.6 GHz with 1 GB of RAM is installed over the system. One good thing for hooking up over Windows 10 is its new version of DirectX 12. If you are a fan of middle ranging games like Call of Duty, Counter Strike or My Spin 3, Windows 10 can be one of your type. Talking about the RAM and the CPU usage of PC, it's as expected. The operating system gonna consume 7% of processor and at least 400 MB of the memory. For a processor, it's fine, but it's not the best if you're gonna play games with a higher resolution. <laughs> Gaming performance on this PC was almost bad for mid-range games too. Those marines could use some help, Chief. Do what you do best. Keep your head down, there's two of us in here now, remember? I played Halo version 1 at 30 FPS, which actually fluctuated between 24 to 30 FPS at a resolution of 800 by 600. For normal FPS gaming, it's not worth. But it's fine for this outdated graphics card. Ultimate Spider-Man was good with a range of 28 to 30 FPS. The game ran well at 1024 to 768 resolution. The performance of the PC while running Ultimate Spider-Man was good and more or less the 64 MB graphics card was sufficient to run this game. NFSMW was a bit laggy when I experienced some terrible frame drops while playing the game at the resolution of 800x600. The game ran well with the resolution of 640x480 with minimum fluctuation between 2 or 3 frames. While this game required DirectX 9 compatibility, the performance of the game was not well on Windows 10 over compared to Windows 7. While Subway Surfer was a totally suitable game for this PC, which ran on 59 to 60 FPS at the resolution of 1024 by 768. Actually, this game ran well on every graphics card, which is released after 2010 or 2011. So, it's a better between two operating systems. Windows 7 will offer you better performance, and Windows 10 will offer you better quality. Choose the one you will like. So if you are still thinking about the RAM management of your PC, well I got a solution for you. Let me introduce towards the clean mem software. It's a lightweight software designed for managing processes while it kills all useless processes and catch memory over the RAM and it will always show a positive response. Therefore I prefer to use clean mem. As this software cleans all the data and the memory which is located over the RAM, make sure you don't run this program while you are running an another set of file or installation process over the PC or it may lead to crash your PC. So if you are now in totally mood of switching on with Windows 10 over your low end PC, Hurry up cause Microsoft is offering you a free upgrade for a limited period of time. So this was a tutorial on Windows 10 over x and PC. Until next time see you and be safe on your computer. Make sure you subscribe our channel for more interesting tutorials. Cause we upload brand new videos every single day of our week. Goodbye and stay tuned to tutorial time.